fuck off. In a month. Ooh. Right down to the day. Now the fag tato is back. And there's hell to pay. Okay, so this video was highly requested in the comments of my last video I posted. Y'all wanted me to try Bad Baby's kind of brand she partnered with called Copycat Cosmetics, so... I'm horny. A bitch did a haul, and I got a bunch of these go-to beauty products they were selling on copycatcosmetics.com, and I also have all of the products they are trying to, like, dupe or whatever. So like, we're gonna compare them. I'm gonna do this side with Copycat and this side with the real product. But before I actually put the makeup on my face, I actually wanna tell you a little bit about what I noticed about the brand based on the website and everything else. So firstly, shipping was 10 fucking dollars. And it was just standard USPS shipping. So I bought four items. I bought four items. I basically just got what I would need to do kind of like my whole face and makeup minus a few things obviously like foundation and eyebrows i bought their dupe for the modern renaissance palette i bought their dupe for an abh glow kit i bought their dupe for the hourglass palette and i bought a dupe for a mac lipstick and naturally i have all of the genuine real products with me here and we're gonna do kind of a half face comparison to see what's good with these products Let's be real though, I'm gonna review these products honestly. I'm being dead <laughs> honest. Obviously, but also I'm gonna just tell you guys my opinion on the whole kind of situation. It's gonna be good! <laughs> so inside of the box I got all my shit in. I got this postcard. Hi, it's kind of customary for brands to send you a postcard when you buy makeup online. If any of you guys wanted to buy this brand yourself, it says just use code FF10 for like 10% off. I'm not sponsored or anything, but like... <laughs> Yeah, this is how the other side of the postcard looks and what I don't like about the marketing. And this is just my opinion on it. Obviously, it's okay to say something like compare to this product, but when you're saying save 85%, that is kind of raising a red flag to me or just rubbing me the wrong way. You're not getting this, you're getting the copycat palette. You're not saving shit, honey. Ooh. Obviously, if it performs the same way for a cheaper price, that's good because it makes budget makeup affordable to those who don't have $60 to spend on a NARS palette. But also, I feel like it's wrong to market it in a way where it could possibly deceive people who are new to makeup. Because I feel like when, you, when it says save 85%, someone who, you know, obviously isn't as adept Ooh. at makeup as I am or a lot of other people, they would think they're gonna get something that is, you know, somehow worth the same amount as the NARS one. There is an actual difference in the way these were manufactured because one comes from the US and one comes from China. That being said, I feel like it's deceptive, to say the least, to say that this palette is worth $59 and you'll be saving 85% because you only pay $8.99. Now, that's just me. Um, I might just be fucking Delulu. Also, one thing I noticed is that this brand is called copycat beauty no! i looked it up it's a registered trademark owned by some weird crown industries brand i don't care it's an actual brand it's not just the name of a website it's registered as a copyright for cosmetic products i'll put up a screenshot what i mean as you can see it says face powder or whatever makeups so that means it's a trademark for actual makeup production that being said all of the things i bought from copycatcopbeauty.com say go to beauty on it. Literally everything, the lipstick, everything. Now, one thing I thought was interesting is the packaging, like the actual box the shit came in, it actually says go to beauty.com. That kind of doesn't make sense because um, number one, when you try to go on to go to beauty.com, the website is like just not loading. There's nothing on here that says copycat cosmetics. Same with everything else. Okay, hey guys. I'm editing the video right now trying to collect my receipts and whatever from just the trademarks.com and I just discovered something I didn't see before and didn't bring up in the video. I'm on the copyright page for GoTo Beauty and the status is listed as abandoned or failure to respond. Basically that means this trademark or this company go to beauty in which the cosmetics were manufactured under is no longer a legal actual company. Basically I'm saying this entire line, this entire company has been discontinued. The possibility that I just bought a bunch of discontinued makeup that was marketed as 
just normal makeup is very, very probable. All this makeup could be discontinued. And how does this company go to beauty get rid of it exactly? Copycat Cosmetics. They specifically chose Bad Baby as the face of their brand, not because she's a beauty influencer, as many people were shocked that a brand would choose someone who literally admitted they don't use makeup. I don't really wear makeup, but I use makeup brushes to put like moisturizer or face mask. No! They just needed someone with a big name who wasn't educated when it comes to the beauty industry and the way things work and such. This is all kind of a scam. In the video, I really just refrained from using that word, scam. And you know, they also DM'd me on Instagram if I wanted PR. Here's the screenshot if you guys want to see it. But um... You know, they seemed very nice and professional, and I wanted to avoid using that word, as, uh, you know, scam or whatever. This whole thing could have just been a huge scam by this Crown Industries brand, who owns both the trademarks for Copycat Beauty and GoTo Beauty, to get rid of discontinued products and reap the profits. Period. All this new info can be kind of scary. So let's just take a minute to imagine our favorite boy toy wrapping his, or her, <gasps> big strong arms around us. I'm so the first item I purchased from Copycat Cosmetics is this Go-To Beauty Ambience Palette, which is kind of a dupe or copy of the Hourglass Ambient Light Volume 3 Palette. I did a separate video for all the swatches, all the close-ups, whatever, so y'all can really see in detail how they look. Also, real quick, it came with a sheet protector, so that's always good. So this is kind of like a setting powder slash blush slash kind of like highlighter kind of palette. ROACHES! I swatched the really pink one on the bottom and it just looks completely different. Where did it go? Okay, so I'm back. I just haven't set my concealer yet. I just put it on. So to set my concealer, we're gonna go into the hourglass and the copycat beauty and we're gonna go into the lightest shade in the corner of each so the hourglass one is going to be on this side and the copycat is going to be on this side but let's go into the hourglass one first just so we know what we can expect all right so this is how the hourglass side looks but it definitely did set the concealer down really nicely it kind of looks matte but it does have a little bit of like sparkly little glitter particles in it now let's go into the copycat one on here um yeah looking at it up close though there's just a lot more like sparkles going on here and a lot more shine so far there's not a lot of kind of gross creasing going on quite yet all right so now we gotta do eyeshadow this is the part i'm sure most of you are the most curious about <coughs> because bitch thing so i got the go-to beauty modern fairy tale palette which is a dupe for the anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. So this is the palettes side by side. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? I'm feeling a warm spot. <laughs> On the ABH one, the back has a sticker with all the ingredients and the place it's manufactured, whatever. But on the back of the GoTo Beauty one, there's literally only my fingerprints. Ooh. So first I swatched the shade Love Letter and you can see it's not the same the normal love letter is just a little bit darker. These swatches have no primer, it's just on my bare skin. Moving on, I then swatched the shade Cypress Umber. It did swatch better, which is very interesting. Then I swatched the shade Primavera next to its copy in the copycat. <laughs> then I swatched the shade Bon Fresco. They look they look the same. Cause it, bitch, is you blind? But yeah, the copycat formula so far from what I can see is very firm. But you know what? Firm, firm ain't bad. <laughs> so enough talking. Let's actually put these on our eyes. I prime my eyes with Urban Decay Prima Potion on both sides. The real product on this side, copycat on this side. Firstly, I'm gonna take the skinny brush and then go into the shade red ochre. Then just pop that beach in my crease. And I just want to say this packaging out of all of them feels the most cheap. Just me going like this with my hands, you can see it's bowing. So let's put this in our crease. 
So that one took me a little bit more time to actually get the pigment on my eyes. The pigment is definitely there and the formula is very usable on this shade. So I really want to test out how this shade compares to the one in the Real palette. So I'm just going to take on this super kind of skinny brush. I think this is for nail art. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to try and pop it in my crease just a little bit and try and deepen the color I have. So once again, going into ABH side first. So there's how the ABH side looks with Cypress Umber. Now we're going to do the copycat palette. And I'm just going to do the same thing on this side I did with the other side. So this is after the second dip into the fucking shadow. So far, the Anastasia one looks more warm, whereas this one is kind of looking just a tad bit more cool toned. All right, next we gotta blend these bitches out. So I'm gonna use the shade Burnt Orange, which is this one, on the thick blending brush I literally use in every single video. Did the mirror break? Okay, thank goodness, no. So I'm just gonna go and like blend this bitch out. All right, so this is how everything blended out on the ABH side. Let me just go into this one after I have tapped everything off of my brush. Okay, so this side is being just a little bit more fickle to blend. I don't know if you can see the line on the ABH one is just a little bit more diffused where this one is kind of a little bit more of like a sharp, more distinct line. So I dipped in for a second time to try and blend and it's kind of wiping off the dark shade that's there. I don't know if you guys can see, Ooh. but this side is kind of like starting to get way lighter than this side. Morphe, Morphe. Mm, yeah, it's kind of wiping off the dark shadow whereas the side is still retaining its kind of opacity. Let's just move on. For my lid, I'm gonna go in with the flat paddle brush I always use, and I'm gonna use the shade Primavera. Okay. So no setting spray with this, just the primer. So this is how the ABH side looks when I've applied Primavera. This one might not be all that pigmented because there's like nothing kicking up at all. It's literally almost like I'm rubbing a rock or something. It's like nothing is coming off at all. So let's see how this performs on the eyes. Um, You can see the Anastasia one has that shimmer. It has that kind of glow where this one is just not. I'm gonna continue dipping into the product and try and work with this. Honestly, this is kind of like chalk. It's low key really fucking ugly. I can't just like slap on more because it's like refusing to build. And when it does build, it's like, there's like barely any like luster. So I don't really like the shade at all. Just the formula is really stiff and hard to work with. Yeah, but so far the two eyes are already starting to look a little different. Next for my bottom lash line, I'm gonna be going in with the Chode brush. I'm gonna be using the shade Rilgar. How do you say that? Let me look it up so I don't look like fucking stupid. Dyslexia. Oh, it's a kind of wine. Rilgar. Okay. Love it. So in the ABH palette, I'm gonna be going into the shade Realgar. Eh, try again. Realgar. Dyslexia. And I'm just gonna be putting that on the bottom lash line. So with only one dip of the brush, you can see I got a nice line. Let's dip into the Copycat Beauty side and see how it compares. All right, these are how the two sides look. Um, they look pretty damn similar. Next, to blend out the shade we just put on our bottom lash line, I'm gonna go into Bon Fresco. The one that I said looks completely different, just so we can really see how different it is. It kind of made it a little darker and a little bit mauvier. Next, we're gonna go into the kind of copycat version of Bon Fresco. Okay, so here's how the two sides look. The copycat one is definitely not the same. Like, this side looks kind of more mauve because Bon Fresco is mauve, but this side, it just looks darker and a little bit more gray, so. And lastly, for our brow bone highlight, because I'm gonna do my inner corner highlight using the glow kit dupe they have, we're gonna go in to the shade Tempera, the real side first, as usual. Now let me go into the copycat one. No, don't do it! Is that a chicken? Oh. oh. Hmm. You can see on the ABH side that... What's this one called? You can see on the ABH side that tempera, when I put on my brow bone, it didn't really fuck up the blending. On this one, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is like doing something weird. It's kind of like making the blending look weird. So it's kind of more like, almost like chalky. All right, so this is how the eyes look without any lashes or anything. Um, I'm gonna show you a close-up shot I did on my phone of my eyes. Some of the mattes were good. They kind of, you can see in the video, 
they didn't really blend as well and the line is a little Ooh. bit more harsh. All right, so the next product we get to test out is their dupe for the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. Anyways, these two palettes are very similar. I'm gonna show you the swatches and the kind of comparison with the size and everything right now. The palette's formula is actually pretty good, if I'm being honest. I'm being dead <laughs> honest. Pretty much the only shade that is noticeably different is the shade in the upper right corner. But honestly, the best dupe out of everything I ordered is probably the dupe in this palette for the shade Marshmallow. It's actually pretty good. Yeah! That being said, I'm going to use the shade Marshmallow to highlight the inner corners of the eyeshadow, whereas I'm going to use the shade Gumdrop that is just a little bit different. I'm gonna use that shade on my actual cheeks. So first, we're gonna go into the ABH one, into the shade Gumdrop. And then let's dip into this one, which is the copycat version. All right, so that's not bad. It does look just a tad different than the real ABH one because the real ABH one has these kind of like golden sparkles in it, um, where this one does not. It's just a pink duochrome. If I cover the light, you can see the pink a little more. So this is the copycat pink. My pussy pink just like salami. And this is the ABH pink. Overall though, it's not a bad dupe. Now we gotta do the inner corner using Marshmallow. I'm going to go into ABH one first. And I'm gonna be using this brush. It's a little bit longer than the chode brush I used for my bottom lash line, which is kind of an oxymoron. A long chode. Look out, I think Motomoto likes you. <laughs> I don't know, sorry, it's like 1 a.m. I'm just gonna go into this no setting spray, no nothing and just put it in my inner corner on the real ABH side. And you can see, that's just so luminous and lustrous. Anyways, let's move on to the copycat side. Dip into this one. Hmm. It's swatched similarly, but you can see that the Anastasia side is just way brighter, whereas this side is just a little bit more dull. It's still there. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. I know, it's scary. Call the exorcist. It's still good, it's just definitely way more subtle. It's not bad though. But it's gonna take more than that to impress me. I'm curious to try the copycat one just a little bit more. So I'm going to use that on my finger. No, that's a bad idea. I'm gonna use marshmallow again to highlight my nose and I'm gonna use the actual marshmallow to highlight my cupids both so we can see them side by side. Yeah, you can see it's not a bad highlighter. Um, yeah, so something is definitely wrong. <laughs> I don't know if you can see on camera, but it turned gray. Not anything but the FLAPPING FLOTSOM, WHAT'S THAT?! Electric chair. You can see it right there, huh? It's turning gray on the sides. Um, let's just try the real ABH one and I'll, you'll see. <laughs> So that is the real ADH on the Cupid's bow. You can see this one does not look gray or weird at all. In kind of the areas where like the shadow is, it looks gray. Where this one doesn't really have that problem, so I'm not gonna fuck with it. Ooh. I just realized I forgot to put on lashes and mascara, so I'm gonna do that right now. All right, lashes and mascara are done, and now I look fuckable. Now the next thing we're gonna do is go back into the Hourglass palette and the Hourglass palette dupe and do our blush. I'm going to be using this blush shade, the pinkest one in the corner. There it is again. Stop singing! But this is how the blush from the Genuine Hourglass one looks. Um, Smoke weed every day. I applied a lot, but you know what? Blush is one of those things where it looks cute when you put a lot on, okay? It does kind of have a bit of like sheen to it because everything in the hourglass palette is a little bit kind of sparkly and shiny. Anyways, let's move on to the um, copycat one. Honestly, just looking at it right now, it looks like complete ass. <laughs> Zero. Where is it? <laughs> it's kind of showing up, but it's like not as much. And let me do a little bit on my nose. 
Where did it go? I don't know. Literally nothing is happening. Can I just refocus? Thank you. Literally nothing is fucking happening. Do you see that? Please call for help. I mean, I see a little bit of pink, but literally I was just stabbing my face with the brush a few seconds ago. I'm gonna go into the hourglass one. There we go. You can see now it's pink. I honestly don't like this at all. Here's kind of like a side-by-side. -side. The real and the copycat. It's just not as there. What the fuck? Okay, so I just swatched all three of the marbly ones like that look like blush on my fingers. It literally... You literally... Dyslexia. Where is it? If I'm being real, if I pick this up at the drugstore for $10, I'd be pissed because this is actual trash. Don't be fucking Don't do rude. Are you kidding me? It literally is like sis. Where, where is it? I just want to point out something really quick about this palette too. It has a weird odor. Be stanky and fishy, stanky and fishy. A lot of makeup will tend to smell kind of chemically when you first open it and that's because the glue they used to like make it or something. It smells a little bit fishy and I don't think that's because like there's like fish or bacteria in it or anything. I get STDs. I think it's because um, some plastics when they're burnt or when, you know, they're overheated or something, they tend to give off a fishy aroma. That's why if you're at your house and you smell something fishy, you're supposed to kind of smell your power outlets or check them to see if that's where the fishy smell is coming from because if it is the wires, the plastic coating around the wires inside could be burning and it could cause a fire. I could have just saved your life, bitch. Ooh. Or, I mean, the fishy smell could be coming from your coochie, so... Just check everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Ooh. But yeah, enough about fire prevention and vaginal health. I think the glue they used to, like, set these little guys... Oh, excuse me, it's ma'am! ...inside the cardboard backing or whatever, I think it was kind of, like, burnt or something, because it does have that... It does kind of have a fishy, plasticky aroma. None, none, nothing else smells bad except this one. I feel like I'm hating on this palette hardcore, but it's like, sis, this palette is actual ass and it smells like ass. Ass, <laughs> cash, cash, ass. Anyways, we gotta move on to the lipstick. So the lipstick I got from Copycat is a bullet lipstick and it's the dupe for MAC Velvet Teddy. I don't actually own own MAC Velvet Teddy, but I'm borrowing shots. I don't know why, I just never have like bought in a lot of like MAC products before. I feel like MAC is like really overhyped and a lot of their stuff is just really chalky and dry. Period. Anyways, here's how the two lipsticks look side by side. The bullets are very similar, but the copycat one is a kind of very cheap plastic. But looking at the actual lipsticks, MAC Velvet Teddy is noticeably more rosy and a little bit lighter. The copycat dupe is way more orange, yeah. and you can see in the swatches that it did very well when it comes to pigmentation. So pigmented. But yeah, honestly, it's just kind of a little bit of a different color. Three fucking dollars, it's the same thing. Literally the same shit. <laughs> you were wrong. Uh, let's pop these on our lips. So I'm gonna do the real Mac Velvet Teddy on this side and then the copycat version on this side. This is how the real Mac, oh, wrong side. This is how the real Mac Velvet Teddy looks. All right, so yeah, you can definitely see that it's a different color. Do you see it? Ooh. And it is a little bit sticky. <laughs> Do you kind of see how it's sticking? You can kind of see this side is just a tad bit stickier and it is noticeable when I talk how my lips are kind of sticking together just a little bit. I don't know, sorry. All right, so that was the last product I had to try. Um, this is kind of how everything turned out. I will show you a close-up right now of how everything turned Ooh. out. You can kind of see in the close-up that the eyeshadow on the um, copycast side didn't really blend out as well. The highlighter palette was actually, you know, it was okay. The lipstick was a little sticky and a different color, but then again, it was only $3, but you know, you have to pay shipping and shipping is 10 for Rickin' Dollars, so <laughs> if you're only getting the lipstick, that means you, the lipstick is gonna be $13. I, I don't wanna recommend this lipstick for 13 bucks. It's just honestly not worth it. Now we get to talk about this. This palette is unacceptable. UNACCEPTABLE! It literally performed like ass. This one did set my face okay, but the blushes are just complete 
shit. So, you know, instead of wasting $8.99, $9 plus $10 shipping on this, you know, you can buy some Starbucks, buy some fart spray on Amazon, you know. That's a boatload of fun. You can spray your friend's hair with it when they're not looking. Since I already have all of the makeup this is duping, I'm probably gonna end up giving all of this to my sister. Pretty much everything except for this. I'm probably just gonna end up throwing this away because Trash. I really don't want it. I mean, I could throw it away. Or I could do something a little bit more fun with it. The next day. We saw how this product performs. Now we're gonna see how it burns. Hold on, dude. Yes, yes. Oh my god. Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. Cause I be the baddie beat. Bobby Tink, bang and body beat. Everybody beat. I can honestly recommend to you the Shop Hush palettes instead because these are really good quality. I'm not too sure about the quality of this and it is kind of expensive because shipping is $10. Also, I hate talking about packaging, but this is just clearly the cheap packaging. I can like easily break it if I wanted to. No shade names, tiny mirror. You know, I'm not sponsored or anything to tell you this. Both of these palettes are within the same price range. Just look at the clear quality difference here. Also, all of the shades have a name and it has a nice mirror. So I feel like if you wanted duped makeup, Shop Hush would be the better option. And once again, I'm not sponsored or anything. I, bitch, I wish I was sponsored. If I was not honestly confident in Shop Hush's quality, I would not have literally ordered every single eyeshadow palette they sell with my own money. I know Shop Hush has dupes for the that Modern Renaissance deep. palette, as well as a lot of other kind of palettes, full shade names full everything like a normal makeup palette. So yeah, that's kind of my recommendation to you as a consumer to do exactly what Copycat's telling you. Shop smarter, not harder. <laughs> if y'all thought I was gonna let this shit live down the 1095 shipping, I was not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something new. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I try and post every two weeks or so. See you soon, bye. We're in an itching